Question number 5 says that a container shaped like a right circular cylinder having diameter 12 cm and height 15 cm is full of ice cream. The ice cream is to be filled into cones of height 12 cm and diameter 6 cm having a hemispherical shape on the top. We have to find the number of such cones which can be filled with the ice cream. So to visualize the question better, let's draw a figure for it and this is how it looks. This is the right circular cylinder in which the ice cream is there. The diameter of this cylinder is 12 cm, so its radius R1 will be equal to 12 divided by 2 which is 6 cm. The height of the cylinder H1 equals 15 cm as highlighted in the figure. Now coming back to the cone, we have its height H2 to be equal to 12 cm. The diameter of the cone and for the hemispherical shape which is on the top of the cone is 6 cm. So their radius R2 will be equal to half of it which is 3 cm. Now let's say the number of ice cream cones that can be filled with the ice cream of the container be n. So we write it as n here. Now volume of the ice cream in the cylinder will be equal to the volume of the ice cream which we transfer into n such cones. So we will write that volume of cylinder, the cylindrical container equals volume of the ice cream cone which is the sum of the volume of the cone plus the volume of hemisphere. So let's write the formulas for each of these. Now to understand this better we know that the volume of cylinder is not exactly equal to the volume of the cone but n such cones. So we'll multiply this total volume with the number of cones that we have and that is n. And now we will be writing the formulas for these. So the volume of a cylinder is found out with the formula pi r1 square times h1 equals n times volume of cone which is 1 by 3 pi r2 square times h2 plus the volume of the hemisphere which is 2 by 3 pi r2 cube. As pi is common on both the sides we can cancel it out. So 6 square which is r1 square times h1 which is 15 equals n times 1 by 3 times r2 square that is 3 square which is 9 times h2 which is 12 plus 2 by 3 times r2 cube so that is 3 cube which is 27. So on simplification we get that 36 times 15 equals n times 36 plus 18. So that gives us n to be equal to 36 times 15 divided by 54. So that on further calculation and simplification gives us the value of n to be equal to 10. So the number of ice cream cones which could be filled with the ice cream which was there in the cylindrical container were 10 and that is the answer for this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.